Hello Haskellings, it's day 7. Our input file has the same format as yesterday, so let's read it in in the same way. We can use the interact prime function because we only have one line, then split it up on commas and map read to leave us with a list of ints. We have to find the smallest value for the total cost of movement across the whole group, which can be calculated by taking the absolute value of the difference from each one to p, and then summing them all up. We can then use the minimum on function across the range of values given to find the one with the smallest cost. Well, actually, minimum on will give us the value that gives us the minimum cost, but we want the actual minimum cost, so we can just get the minimum after mapping over cost instead. That should be the correct answer, but I'm not happy with this solution because we can be so much more efficient by recognising that the cost function is continuous with a single minimum. This means that the difference between any two consecutive costs will tell us if we're below or above the value that gives us the actual minimum. So let's implement this with a simple binary search, dividing the search domain in half every time. We start by setting up our new minimum function that takes in the cost function as well as the bounds of our search domain. We then find the midpoint between the bounds and calculate two adjacent costs around that point. You can think of this roughly as the gradient of the cost curve. If the gradient is positive, we're too high, and if it's negative, we're too low, and we can adjust our low and high values accordingly for the recursive call. For the base case in this recursive function, we need to check if the bounds are close together, perhaps within three of each other, just to be safe, and use the same method we used before. After fixing this typo, we have the same answer that we had before, but I'm much happier with this solution now. Part 2 asks us to use a different cost function, one which requires us to subsequently calculate the sum of the arithmetic sequence up to the absolute distance we had before, which can be done easily with this formula. So until next time, happy Haskelling! <laughs>